Hello guys, welcome to my channel Medistop Educations. Today we are going to discuss about pyramidal tracts and extrapyramidal tracts. See, both pyramidal and extrapyramidal tracts are part of motor descending pathways. But the main difference between pyramidal tracts and extrapyramidal tracts is that pyramidal tracts control voluntary movements. While the extrapyramidal tracts controls involuntary movements. So the involuntary movements includes reflexes, posture movements and other type of movements. The main tracts in pyramidal tracts are corticospinal tract and corticobulbar tract. Now the corticospinal tract. See, the corticospinal tract starts from the cerebral cortex from here. It starts from the cerebral cortex and connects with the lower motor neuron. So it starts from here from the cerebral cortex and it connects with the lower motor neuron. So let's write here, it starts from cerebral cortex and it connects with the lower motor neuron. Then the corticobulbar tract. The corticobulbar tract also starts from the cerebral cortex. It also starts from here. It starts from the cerebral cortex and it connects with the motor nuclei of the cranial nerve. So it starts from here and it ends at motor nuclei of the cranial nerve. So here is the motor nuclei of the cranial nerve. It is the cranial nerve and it is the motor nuclei so it ends here. Now why is it named pyramidal tract? See a lot of people believe that cerebral cortex has pyramidal cells and as this tract starts in the pyramidal cells means from here so these are none named as pyramidal tracts but this is not so. The real fact is that when the corticospinal tract, this tract, corticospinal tract passes through the brain stem, when it passes through the brain stem, it converges. Suppose it is passing through the brain stem like this, so it starts converging. And once it starts to converge, it takes the shape of an inverted pyramid like this. Suppose uh, the main uh, conversion happens in the medulla oblongata. So suppose here it takes the shape of an inverted pyramid and corticospinal tract, corticobulbar tracts, the tracts which pass through these inverted pyramids they are named as pyramidal tracts and the tracts which does not pass through them which passes outside the pyramid they are known as extrapyramidal tracts so the extrapyramidal tracts, the main tracts which are included in the extrapyramidal system are rubrospinal tract, pontine reticulospinal tract, medullary reticulospinal tract, lateral vestibulospinal tract and tectospinal tract we will not go into details of these tracts because the main aim of the video is to understand and clarify the difference between pyramidal tracts and extrapyramidal tracts. See the main difference is that pyramidal tract controls voluntary movements while the extrapyramidal tract controls involuntary movements. Now all these are all these tracts of extrapyramidal system are controlled and regulated by basal ganglia cerebellum, vestibular nucleus and last one sensory part of cerebral cortex. So all these four components, all these play a major role in the control means of the extra pyramidal tracts. So they are also considered as part of the extra pyramidal tracts. So the major difference is that it's Voluntary movements it is uh, controlled by pyramidal tracts and the involuntary movements are controlled by extrapyramidal tracts. That's it. Hope you like this video. Please share and subscribe the channel.